Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Next Drift. This is going to be the first of our viewer email submissions uh, for local spots. We're going to uh, select a, uh, an email here that was sent in from one of our viewers and subscribers. And uh, they had questions about locating some fishing spots in their local waters. So we're going to jump in on the map and uh, kind of do some exploring around their local water. So this email comes from Anthony Murata. Anthony is from Connecticut. Hey, Justin Anthony here. Thanks for putting this content together on your channel. This is going to be my second year on the sound. I have done okay, but uh, based on talking with you guys around the dock and the bait shop, I uh, would love to use something to find my own spots like you do. I would really appreciate if you were able to put something together uh, to help me find fish in my local area. I launch out of the Port Chester slash Byram area on the Byram River on the Greenwich side. I have fished basically in around Rye Playland. Thanks again for this info. So let's get into the map and Anthony, I hope we find you some cool new fishing spots. So here we are. This is the Byram Harbor. So I think we're pretty close. I'm, you know, um, hopefully, Anthony, this is uh, at least give you uh, some um, kind of scale as to uh, where you're going to be fishing. So let's take a look. So the first thing I noticed, there's uh, with the relief shading on the Navionics map, when we first come out of here, boy, is there a lot of shallow water. All these reds, there's a lot of rocks. Um, man, that is a serious... Uh, <laughs> Well, there's a lot of hazards there. I'd be careful coming out of that place. Holy moly. Um, but yeah, that's my, my first thought is, wow, look at all the shallow shallow water up here. So obviously this is a flat, and you can see how it starts to get a little bit uh, lighter green as we work out this way. Looks like you've got uh, some islands out here. Uh, let's see what depth we're talking. This is about 30 feet or so, 36 feet. Um, and as we kind of uh, move out here, out into the sound... Um, you know, this end of the sound yeah, starts to get very shallow. So back when Long Island Sound was a freshwater lake, originally it was a river. It was multiple rivers, actually. And then as the glaciers came down, they carved out um, more of the, uh, of the land, and then they melted, and it made a lake. So this would have been, as you can see here from all of the uh, light color, this would have been a big flat. Um, and, you know, so we have some deep water out uh, close by, uh, which is good. <clears throat> what I do notice is that there's a ton of wrecks. Look at all these wrecks. Um, this is amazing how many wrecks are out here. Um, there's a whole bunch, you know, and, and again, we're not too far away from, um, from where you're launching from. So, you know, right off the bat, first thing when you, when you look at the bottom like this and there's not a ton of contour, and this is even true for freshwater, when fish always want to be around some sort of structure and to kind of give you a good example if you were to take a, a, a fish and you ever you ever had a fish in a fish tank if you just put them in the fish tank and you took a small rock and you just kind of threw it into the tank and it was sitting on the bottom the fish would actually want to go and sit over by it they just like having something to be around some piece of structure some piece of cover and when you the bottom itself is devoid of any real contour uh, for big, long stretches like this. I mean, this is a few miles of pretty flat bottom. Um, any little feature is going to attract fish, and I would really focus on some of these wrecks. I think what you're going to find is because there are so many of them, I would what I would do is I'd kind of keep uh, keep a log of and go to each one of these wrecks some wrecks are going to have a lot of fish on them and some just won't have any for whatever reason um i'm sure a lot of these wrecks maybe there's a few here that uh, kind of um you know disintegrated or whatever but there's going to be something there and on a bottom that's this flat and this shallow uh these wrecks could be awesome um i would definitely check out check out some of these um man that is really cool if we move here a little bit uh, northeast, you can see that we've got some deep water. We start to drop off, um, you know, and, and now we're we're looking in. Let's see here what we got for depth, 56, 60. Um, you know, immediately, 
as I've talked about in other videos, um, having deeper water close by, here we've got 100 feet. You know, that's deep water. So any of these little points, you've got this kind of a shoal that runs out here, the sandbar with deep water on both sides of it. Um, that's going to be an awesome spot. I would definitely fish there. This out here, I mean, this is, this is like a beacon. I mean, look at this. You've got this hump that's sitting out here with deep water on the other side of it. We go from, uh, let's see, how deep is this here? We've got some rocks. We've got uh, a wreck up there. Looks to be about, yeah, in the 50s or so, 54, 55 feet. And then it goes right down into 60, 70, 80 feet of water. I mean, this is going to be a prime spot. Porgy, sea bass. Um, I mean, this whole area right out here is going to have sea bass on it. Um, lots of porgy, too. You're going to find fluke over here. Um, you know, I would definitely focus on all these little humps. Uh, this, The end of this point... This hump that's out here on the end of this hump, uh, end of this point, that's going to have a bunch of fish on it. Um, this point right here, man, what a good looking spot this is. You've got rocks, you've got uh, some some contour, some serious points that are sticking right out there in deep water. Um, you know, like I said, sea bass, porgy, fluke uh, in you know the the spring and summer, and I can tell you this, you're going to have if there's any decent rock on here which there really appears to be this is going to be a blackfish spot in a half right here you know um those are two awesome places and look there i mean they're really not that far from you um you know this whole area here <clears throat> um that's the other thing i notice you know over here in these shallow areas you know uh, these are going to have blackfish on them you know um out here near this buoy the Wools, uh, Woolsey Reef Buoy, number 34, right on here, that's going to be a prime blackfish spot. You won't need to get, don't go too far up there because that's pretty shallow. But, um, man, that's that's a nice point sitting out here. There's probably some rocks that are scattered around. There's another wreck, um, another wreck up in there. And then you've got this uh, kind of trough that runs up between these two uh, shallow spots, these islands. Again, rock out here, okay. This is going to be a natural spot where fish are going to want to sit and uh, and feed. And I'll bet you the same thing. You're going to find a lot of porgy, a lot of sea bass, probably some good fluke in there at, at certain times, uh, especially when that water is on the outgoing. This, to me, looks like, I'm sure you can catch them on the incoming, but this, to me, really looks like it would be an outgoing tide spot. Fish would just sit right about in here um, and and use this natural funnel. Uh, to uh, to feed so I would definitely definitely give this shot uh, spot a shot uh, so this spot you know right out here you know that's going to be another uh, really good uh, blackfish spot uh, the great captain island west reef buoy um, you know a lot of rock there um, you know so Anthony you've got some really good spots you know you've got uh, uh, at least one two three four really great spots that I think are, are uh, well within your reach um coming out of uh out of where you are um you know i uh i hope uh hope you uh use some of this download this uh app do some exploring on your own now that you know what you're looking at and um you know i um shoot me an email let me know how these spots work out for you this year i'm really actually curious um anyway that'll do it for this episode thanks a lot anthony as always like comment and subscribe and don't forget, send me an email, nextdriftfishing at gmail.com, and uh, we might just feature uh, one of your fishing spots on here. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you real soon. Take care.